In this video, we are going to discuss a simulation of 8 is to 1 marks. We will also write a test bench for 8 is to 1 marks and simulate. So, for that, file close earlier project, select new project, select a location and make sure that none of the folder or file name or module name should not contain any special character including spaces. So name I will give it as max 821 for project. Yes. Select simulator iSIM synthesis tool XST VHDL very long. Next. Select new source, select Verilog module, give file name max 821, input 8 bits, so we define it as a vector, select lines 3 bits, this also we define it as a vector 2 down to 0, so 3 bits are required 2 down to 0. Input 7 down to 0 means i is 7 to i 0, 8 inputs and 1 bit output. Next. Type code. We have typed a code for uh, module marks 8 to 1. Input i we have defined, 8 inputs we have defined as a vector, 7 down to 0. Select lines, 3 bits, 2 down to 0. Output y need to be redefined as a register because you all within always statement you are assigning value to uh, register. Output y. Since uh, only one statement, there is no need to write a begin and end for each choice. If you are assigning more than one assignment for each choice of case statement, then begin and end are compulsory. Now we develop a stimulus. We write a stimulus for this max 8 to 1. A stimulus or test bench is written in the same file immediately after the code for max 8 to 1. You can write stimulus first, then max 8 to 1 code or this module first of max 8 to 1 and then stimulus. Order is not important. So inputs that you are defined in uh, max 8 to 1 need to be defined as registers. REG 7 colon 0, register 2 colon 0, I and S are defined. Output need to be defined as wire Y. And max 8 to 1 module name we are calling here instance. You are creating max 8 to 1 with instance name m1 and the order i, s, y we are following same order. Then we need to supply for simulation through the test bench values for i and s at different time instances. Say i value we fix it at 8 tick b 1010 so 8 values we are given and s we need to initial value say we are given 0 at time simulation time 100 yes yes i value i'll return s value i go on changing so 3 tick b 100 hash 100 
so some values we have written hash hundred dollar finish and we need to monitor these values of i s and y in tabular form also as well as on waveform window for that we are using one more system task dollar monitor you are displaying dollar time i in binary percentage b comma s in binary percentage b and output y in percentage b that is in binary slash t for tab space slash n new line character then you are writing i s y so we have written test bench when i save file you can observe here stimulus will become a top level code and max set to 1 instance m1 will act as uh, these two are linked and it is Uh, since uh, stimulus is top, this is a next level code. These two are automatically linked by selecting a name. If I change name to say T double O one, in that case, max eight to one is treated as separate code. Stimulus is treated as separate code, and within stimulus, it is expecting one more code. Max eight T double O one. so you need to make sure that whatever module name you are giving and within stimulus you are calling the same module name i'll change it to max set to 1 so automatically these two files test bench and m1 max set to 1 are linked then you select simulation you'll get this option i sim simulator after selecting this file then click on behavioral check syntax some syntax error we need to correct it so it should be it is a case sensitive language i have defined it as lower case i'll change it to upper case letter still errors change lower case y to upper case y because it is a case sensitive language both lower case and upper case letters are treated separately okay <coughs> there are no syntax error you can observe stimulus also we are written now we click on simulate behavioral model so you can observe here the data initially at time 0 i value is 8 bit value 10101010 s value is initial value triple zero when all select lines are zero i zero value should be assigned to y so that we are getting this is i zero i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 so i zero value is zero so y you are getting zero then for 100 and 110 111 y value is i7 is 1 so you are getting 1 0 11 0 1 2 so i of 3 is 1 so y you are getting 1 at a time 500 nanosecond simulation is stopped you can also observe in the form of waveform
so when select line is 0 0 0 in that case y output y you are getting 0 when select line is 1 0 0 in that case i of 4 i of 4 is 0 so you are getting y as 0 when i of 6 i of 6 is also 0 so you are getting 0 i of 7 so i of 7 means msp i of 0 means in this order 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 i of 3 i of 3 is 1 you are getting y as 1 in this case so we have observed a simulation window we have developed test bench we have observed also the output in the form of tabular form ok students will continue in the next video with one more lab example